Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel where we do Pokemon magic, some crypto stuff, some tech stuff, some PC builds, and some old trading cards too and whatever I find. But today we're going to talk about this really, really massive card that I got at Micro Center for 439 I got it about two days ago. I saw it, they had about 10 of them left because no one bought them because of they bought all the 30s, 60s, 70s, and the 80s. And I have the card, here it is, I did it. An unboxing video which should probably show up on my channel at some point. This is the 2060, 439, and it's weird because it's more expensive than an EVGA 3060, just the plain one with the fans. That's about uh, 339 or 349 at Micro Center on the EVGA website. If you can get it, it's 329. But they're going to stop making them because they want to focus on the 3080. So NVIDIA said that they're just going to use all of their chips. For these cards instead of making you know continuing to make 1650s 2060s and this card if you, if you guys are buying it or not buying it it's it's bigger than my other 2060 I have a Zotec 2060 that's running in my Mac Pro 3.1 if you guys want uh, comment below and I'll tell you how I did it but I have a 20 no I have a 2060 Zotec running in a Mac Pro 3.1 and it's running great but these 2060s alone, especially if you don't have enough fans or proper channels to cool them, well, cool them from, say, this side, it runs unbelievably hot. I put this in my AMD build on top of my 3080, and under as soon as I put a heavy load, within about one minute, it reached 74, 75 Celsius. While I'm looking right now on my NVIDIA thing, and my 3080 is at 57, and my 1070 Ti Mini by Zotec is at 62. These things run really hot, but I'm going to do a budget build. And we're going to stick this in. It's a very cheap budget build. The video should be on my channel in about a week or two. Uh, we're just going to try to get a case to use this card and see if we can do just have it as a Fortnite computer. Or, you know, if this is the only card you can find. Because, like I said, they're going to stop making the chips for the 2060s. But there's 2060s everywhere that, that are still being made and everything. So... You're going to be able to find these brand new stuff up until December, I bet. There's no way they're going to be out of them. They just have so many. And they have so many chips for the 1650 and the 1650 Supers. So you'll find tons and tons of them. I'm not sure if you should buy them. I do like the 1650. I have two of them. Uh, they're really good. They, they fit in the Dell workstation with that case. They fit everywhere. Low power consumption, low heat, low everything. They're, they don't crash. They're very stable. I mean, you can't mine with them unless you're doing Ravencoin, but I give it six more months and you won't be able to even use those to mine anymore. But they're good for even playing Fortnite on low settings. You can actually stream on YouTube while playing on a 1650. On the 2060, we're going to find out. Um, it's just, this thing gets so hot, I don't know what to do with it. But like I said, we're going to do an AMD build. Let me know what you guys think if you have any questions about this card or about the 30 series cards. Um, like I said, I do get the 3080 and I did not do an unboxing on this because, well, I got it from a friend and he had opened it up and used it for about a week to play Call of Duty. And then I got it off him and, you know, so I didn't see the point to do an, an unboxing since it was already open. But I'm hoping to get my hands on a 3090 and once I do, we're going to compare the 60, 70, 80 and the 90. And we're going to see which is the best one. Alright guys, enjoy. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.